Welcome back to Overland, Florida, everybody. I'm Kevin. Goose and Jillian are actually behind the camera. Um, today's video, we're going to do a walk around of our Runaway Adventurous. We've owned it for one year now, and we've, we're always changing things, but we kind of got it to where we want it as far as road trips and camping trips go. So I think we're going to start with the exterior of the trailer, and then we're going to work our way around, and then we'll ultimately show you guys how we built out the inside. So what's really nice and unique about the Runaway Campers are they're basically just an empty slate, clean slate, so you can build out however you want. Um, they do have a few options and the factory options that we did get was the Venturist off-road package which comes with um, these oversized, oversized fenders, comes with Timberin off-road axle suspension with electric brakes, it comes with an off-road hitch which we'll show you guys here in a second, but far as, as far as this side the option that we got was the propane tank. So the fender is wide enough so you can use it as a little kitchen, you can put a propane stove there and um, run the hose over to the propane tank. Um, but if you do a lot of cooking and you have a lot of different things going on, um, we do recommend a, a folding table, which is how we have it set up usually. Um, so right now we have an um, OVS, which is the Overland Vehicle Systems 270 degree awning. Highly recommend this awning. You don't have to use the feet, but we just have it out if it's going to be raining. But um, it is freestanding, so you can Velcro these up just like this. And like I said, you don't have to have the poles, which is really nice. But if you're going to have any kind of wind, you're expecting some kind of storm, I do recommend to actually use the legs. Um, that mounts to the factory roof rack, which was another option. You do have two crossbars going across. You can mount kayaks, bicycles, um, rooftop tent, just about anything that you would put normally on a car roof rack, you can put on your trailer roof rack. Um, but over here, we do have our Front Runner Silverware Organizer. Um, this came from Front Runner's website. I really like it. It actually is the perfect width and length for the Velcro straps that come from the awning. So that kind of just hangs right here, makes space for cook. It's really nice to have all that stuff organized. Um, there is an entry door on both sides. And as you see right here, we do have the Venturist, which is off-road series. As far as just our chairs go, we do have a Kelty chair. This is a double chair, as you can see. It's like a love seat. I don't remember what they call it, but it's really good for dogs. Goose loves sitting in our chairs and we had to find this one so we can fit one person and the dog because otherwise that Dometic chair that's behind Jillian, he tries to climb in with us. And as you can see the size of them, it's not really that comfortable. So moving back, um, this was an Amazon find. You don't know how nice it is to have actual paper towel uh, roll holder. Comes in really handy. This is the, I think it's seven gallon propane tank. Like I said, that is an option um, with uh, trailers when you order them. Moving to the back, like I said, this camper is six feet wide and eight feet long. So you do have an option to get an off-road door in the back. They don't always come with the door. Like I said, it's an option, but I highly recommend it. It's so nice to have that door. Um, if it's a really nice day and you want some air in there, you can open up the door. You can even put like a screen door in there, hang some screens so you get a nice little breeze. But uh, it does let a lot of, a lot of light in. Um, during the daytime but as you can see right now i do have a bicycle rack on the back there is a two inch receiver right here and what's really nice is that tube for the receiver goes all the way to the tongue of the trailer which makes the trailer itself really strong if you do get in a situation off-road where you do need to get pulled out you can actually use that as a recovery point so definitely having that two inch receiver go all the way and be part of the tongue of the trailer just one really long piece definitely is going to help you out off-road. It's a really good option with the Ventures package. Moving on over here, there are stabilizers. This is only on the Ventures package. And as you can see, there's individual holes. Um, so when you get somewhere, you can level out the trailer and it definitely helps when you're sleeping. It's not going to be rocking or anything. And uh, it also helps just stabilize it so it's not going to roll if you are kind of parked on a little bit of a slope. Um, moving over to the driver's side of the trailer, um, this was not an option. This is something we did ourselves. And this is actually a Pelican 1600 case. Probably came from Amazon or somewhere online. But this is actually a propane um, instant hot water heater. So I have all the uh, hoses in here. So it's probably going to try to fall out. So right here. So right here is the Julka, and this is the instant hot water shower. Um, hot water, 
it actually has batteries in there so it'll ignite itself you don't have to sit there with a lighter or ignite it um it's i, I can't i can't tell you how much how nice it is to have a hot water shower um so there is a water pump so you can either hook this up to like this right here is a road shower i think it's 10 gallons but it has an electric pump so you can actually park next to a creek a lake a pond and you can actually use that fresh water from a spring or something and it'll pump right up in here get hot and it'll come right out the shower handle so um, i highly recommend that i love taking showers when i'm camping so again moving on we have a really nice fender that comes on the adventures package um, on this side of the camper we do like all our showers all our dishwashing and everything so we kind of use this as like utility side the other side is where we kind of entertain people we cook we do all those fun things so over here i do have a solar panel on the roof these two wires do come down and i charge the power banks during the day um this actually runs off 12 volts so i need a power bank to run the electricity for the hot water shower so um, that's usually why we have the power over here as well and sometimes we have a wash bin right here to wash all our dishes so like i said we're always cleaning um, we do have a nice window on each side. It does open up to be a screened window, so you can let the air in and out um, without little bugs getting in there, which is nice. Like I said, we do have a door on, um, on both sides, plus one on the back, so really nice having three doors. You can get cross ventilation that way with the doors and the windows open. Now, the Runaway Venturist package um, does come with off-road tires. You can get up to 35 inch tires, and we actually got 285 uh, 7017s and that matches Jillian's 4Runner. So if in the off chance that we do get a flat tire or blow out, we can actually use Jillian's spare tire on the trailer. We did get the Toyota lug pattern, which is an option. You can get Jeep, Ford, Toyota, whatever, you, whatever your lug pattern is on your vehicle, they can match it so you can interchange your spare. Last thing on the driver's side is the inlet for power. So inside there are two um, power strips. There's gonna be one right here, one in the back. And you can plug things in to charge your laptops, your phones, whatever you want, electric heater. And uh, there is an air conditioner, uh, 5000 BTU inside. Moving on to the tongue of the trailer, as you can see right here, we have a nice black diamond plate toolbox. This came from Tractor Supply, comes in very handy. So um, there are things when you're outdoors camping that you just don't want to have in where your bed is. You don't want to get greasy and muddy and everything. So things like the tire chocks, extension cords, all the parts for the off-road hitch. Um, little compressors, tire repair kits, firewood, stuff like that. Um, really comes in handy inside this diamond plate toolbox. As you can see right here, we do have a really hefty um, off-road uh, tongue jack. You can actually move this around really easily in the gravel, in the mud, in the grass. And uh, it's definitely come in handy if you're doing it by yourself or um, just at a campsite that's at a very awkward angle or something like that. If you have to spin the camper around, you can't use the vehicle. It's really easy for one person to actually push that around. Um, right here, we do have an articulating um, off-road hitch. Comes in really handy. Um, get away from using the two-inch ball, squeaking, creaking, going over off-road obstacles, and you're limited to how sharp you can actually get the tongue. This right here, you can spin this trailer around 360 degrees. You can basically do barrel rolls with it, and um, it's not gonna bind up or anything, so. Um, it's really nice having the off-road hitch. This is the end right here. That's all in Jillian's 4Runner. And it kind of just, you kind of just drop it down in there like a little cradle, put your pin through, you're good to go. So it's really easy for one person to, um, to uh, hook up by themselves. It's even easier if you do have a reverse camera. I think that's going to be the end for the front. This is the um, 5000 B2 air conditioner. And they do put an aluminum box around it to... Um, help against sticks and stones that are going to be kicked up um, by your vehicle or just towing it down trails and they do have an aluminum diamond plate rock guard right here and for the roof of the camper um, it is all composite one piece there are no seams in the roof which is really nice it does come with a five-year warranty on the roof itself as you can see we do have a 180 watt solar panel right here and that's what the wires go down to for my power bank to keep it charged um, over here on the right there's a 10 gallon road shower, comes in really handy. It's pressurized, 55 PSI, which is like identical. It's basically just like using the garden hose at your house, same amount of pressure. Over on the left side, um, over here, we do have the OVS 270 degree awning, comes in really handy. And those are the two um, metal uh, roof rails right there that you can mount kayaks on, rooftop tents. As you can see, we have 
water over there or awning over there. The options are basically unlimited for what you want to mount it. So here. underneath the trailer, I just want to show you how the tongue is one piece all the way through to the rear and it makes it very strong. And that's how you're able to tow um, from the uh, rear trailer hitch right there. Also, it has Timbrin's axle suspension. So as you can see right here, there's absolutely no axle, which gives you more um, ground clearance for trails. And it actually has um, electric brakes, which is really nice. So now starting on the inside of the camper, when you first get it, it's gonna be an empty box. The only thing you're gonna get is your shelf. We have a power strip here, a power strip here, and then obviously the air conditioner. We chose to add some storage with some, I think we got these from Target shelving with cubbies. We built a bed with a platform and underneath we have storage for the entire length of the bed. Um, we typically will store like our kitchen stuff in REI packaways. I think we have um, the 15 liter one. I think we can fit two of those under there and a couple 10 liters. And um, our stove is stored under there currently on this side because it's um, the clean area. On the outside area, we keep our extension cords, a table, uh, a pop-up tent for showering, things like that. Um, the other thing we did is we decided to kind of divide it into two, two work areas. This side we have our kitchen side, and then the other side is kind of our dog and cleaning bathroom side. Um, so we have all of our shower stuff currently stored on that door. And then on this side, we have the 230 organizer for our kitchen stuff, anything that we use while cooking. Or if we're, we need like the um, mosquito bug stuff, we have all that stuff in here, the thermostat. So then we decided to build um, something in between a twin and a full, but we got camping mattresses or like two inch foam mattresses that you can get off Amazon that fit perfectly in here. Um, and then we wanted to do that obviously so we can find sheets that somewhat fit. Although I don't think I found a fitted sheet that works. So I just use a standard flat sheet over top of that. And then we chose to go with some rechargeable fairy lights that are just powered off a of USB. So I have an anchor power block there. And then to kind of organize a little bit, since we have a ton of electronics, there's a little hook and storage board on that side. And then at the front, we decided to do some under cabinet lighting since we always have to get in here, usually after dark to organize or set up the camper. And those are just also USB lights that usually snap in and out so we can recharge them if needed. And they also change colors depending on if we want to cook at night and we need red lighting or anything like that. And then we have some hooks in here for towels, dog gear, and we also added some blackout sheets so we can sleep however late we want. So yeah, this is the interior of our camper. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment and we'll answer.